What is going on, guys? Today is going to be a tutorial about how you can apply the film mat and also the film burn, the film effect to create this 80s and 90s film texture, even though you don't have the Super 8 camera. And let's get started. As you can see, this is the timeline uh, for the project, and the editing itself is actually not that complicated. It's just like a pure, you know, simple cut. But basically, the focus is on those film mats. If you look at those, like lots of film grains and film mats, kind of cross over each other, and it's gonna go in down to the end of the video. Yeah. So for this video, there's nothing to. Uh, fancy about the edit about the editing so let's take into the new sequence and show you how you're going to use that it's, it's quite simple and you know uh straightforward so first of all i have this video once you're done with the color grading and for this one i color a color room uh using the black and white uh LUT. so this is the two clips i'm going to show you today so going down here you have this matte you basically just drag and drop on top of your footage and if you have this method like that the, the first of all you have to go to the effects tab and you change the blend mode to multiply to multiply and then no matter what kind of product like like well what kind of uh, film mat you got from like for example tropic color or whatever like basically the mat is not going to match your footage so you have to kind of like scale a little bit to fit your uh, footage and from here your effects tab you go you just unclick the uniform and you basically uh, readjust the width here to match your footage it just really depends on how how um, wide you want to go like so for for this one let's say I put it right here maybe uh, and then you can also adjust the height like that so this one we're not gonna touch too more so next what we're gonna do is drag and drop the film camera texture and let's just say delete the sound effects here because there is no sound effects uh, so you got this footage right here and you have to go to again it's basically just the blend mode you know choosing uh, so you, for this one you have to change to screen mode and there you go like it's on the top of your footage so for this one also the same thing unclick the uniform scale uh, change the width so let's say for this one right here maybe um, and also adjust a little bit on the, on, on the height for this one again just about right there um, and normally, normally this one, uh, the film here, is basically uh, touched down on, on the edge of the film mat. So for this one, you have to kind of like readjust, or you can use like you know more layers uh, of the film mat or other film texture you want. So for this one, maybe we adjust a little bit, and maybe adjust uh, the position like so. So yeah, that's pretty much how you set it up, uh, the film mat and also the film texture. And uh, in order to achieve that kind of uh, film uh, uh, textures, they just adding more film grain as much as as as, as many as possible. Uh, so for for this one, I using the UHD to say it, the fine grain on the top layer. Always remember, uh, if you want to apply the film grain, then just apply on the toppest of any footage. And again, here also the same thing. We uh, kind of delete the sound. And here you change your film grain. You can do like overlay. Overlay will be a little bit stronger. Uh, soft light will be just like softer. Pretty much straightforward. So here we do uh, overlay and. Uh, 
before you do an overlay let's say you, you can still see uh, the size is a match again what we're we gonna do uh, uniform scale or for this one because it's film grain so it doesn't matter you can just uh, scale naturally to get over the footage right there and then change the blend mode to overlay and this is just only the first layer and of course uh, for all your project you have to kind of like duplicate the film grain all over like so and then once you got the first layer of film grain uh, for this one for this project I think I use like three layers So yeah, right now you can see you started your pairing with this. Let's say uh, right there, I think. Got some film dust out there, so you make it making the whole footage more like you know you do you, you're you're using the film camera and kind of bring this kind of old style. So for this one, uh, as a transition that you can use in film burn, you know, sometimes when people comes to the transition, they probably overthinking too much. They want to be like you know, fancy and you know crazy uh, RGB split effect, or so you know, like glitch effect. But you know, in the end of the day, you have to really you know figure it out the purpose of the video and also the style of the video. So the film burn, I have also some stock footage. Uh, and I think for this one, I'm using the film film burn overlay transition. So yeah, it's basically just like the clip again, scale out, and right there, and then choosing the right one that you wanted to use as a film. So for this one, I think maybe. For example, maybe this one, and uh, you basically just. And also, you, if you want to apply the film burn, it's better to just apply under the film grain because the, the, the film grain is more like the ultimate uh, overlay. So here comes the film burn in the place like between the clips. And then change the mode to screen. And when you, once you change the screen, you can also uh, play a little bit on the opacity. So we kind of like drop down a little bit. Let's say seventy. Maybe put it right here at the middle. So the overall result will be something like that. A little bit of film burn and then it kind of like smoothly uh, change to the next uh, the, the, the next clip you have uh, for this one I also use the, the stock footage uh, the f uh, 5k like leader it's also some you know film cool texture and for this one I think I using something like right here maybe I just do it real quick right now so yeah just using this short one as a transition and, uh, right here maybe so again using this one uh, changing to the blend mode the over uh, I think I think maybe for this one I'm using screen and then again changing the opacity like that this one you have like this and the cool thing is for this one you can actually add the sound effects uh, I have the sound effects right here so it's kind of like a, you know the camera clicks let's see we opens up the audio game contain and then drop down a little bit let's see how it works maybe a little bit too loud uh, let's say uh, maybe just like that so yeah that's it for today's tutorial if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel for more videos and also click that ring bell button for notifications 
and i hope you learned something today uh, again go out there and create and keep shooting keep chasing the dream and i'll see you next time